Well, my mother was uh, a lighthouse keeper's daughter. She came from Wales in 1917 and uh, was astonished to find that she was going to have to live on an island with her brother and, uh, and her parents. Um, and they, they arrived in 1917 when the war was at its uh, highest. She was always telling me stories of the things that had happened on the island. When we were at home and the wireless wasn't working, you know, I said, tell me about the Zeppelin. <laughs> and this was always the big story between us about the Zeppelin. On March the 13th, my mother got the biggest fright of her life. Uh, her grandfather was, uh, her father rather, was out walking in the dark one, one night and she went out to join him for a little walk around the island and they both heard uh, like a motorbike engine up in the sky and they stopped and my grandfather recognised it immediately and he said, get down, keep quiet, don't move, whatever you do. And out of the darkness up above them came a German Zeppelin it got closer and closer until it was on top of the lighthouse and the engine stopped and they were really worried then and the next thing that happened they saw a basket coming down out of the sky uh, on a rope and a man inside of it and they heard voices speaking in German and you can imagine at that time of the war they were terrified but they kept very very quiet and eventually the basket went back up into the sky again the engine started up and the Zeppelin headed off down the coast. They believed that it was heading for Hartlepool because that night Hartlepool was uh, very badly bombed. And they think the Zeppelin had lost its way and they put this man down in the basket to see what this island was, probably just to identify the lighthouse and get a bearing as to where it was before it headed off on its bombing mission. These were huge airships. They filled the sky and uh, all filled, of course, with inflammable gas. And these days you think of them exploding in flames. But they were raiding Britain regularly and people were amazed that one could actually perch up above your head and, uh, you know, and you could hear voices coming from them. It was a terrifying experience, really. People were amazed when they were told this story.